1974, my folks bought c and &E Concrete, and it was just a, a concrete company. And in 85, they started uh, Tri-State, or Plains Electric is what it was known at that time. They built a power plant at Pruitt, which was about 26 miles from uh, Grants. And so when they built that power plant, the gentleman that was the project manager on it, he said, we are going to need a source for limestone. And so my dad decided uh, we, there still was some, in, a, in 85, there was still some geologists around from the uranium industry. And so he used some of their resources to try to start looking for limestone. But for whatever reason, one time he was driving by this location up here in Tanaha, and he saw gravel that was on the ground. And it, it was actually a, a sand and gravel, it was just a gravel pit that people had been mining for BIA road jobs and state jobs and stuff like that. So he walked up here, got some samples of the rock, took them to the power plant, to the chemical engineering process, and they looked at it and says, this is fantastic. This is exactly what we're looking for. The upper grade of this limestone in this formation is, it's, it's a solid limestone that's about 85 feet thick, but the upper grade is about 85% calcium carbonate, and then the lower part, which is the last 35, 40 feet, is somewhere between as high as 97, 98% calcium carbonate is what it is on this limestone. And that's what made it such a valuable commodity. We kind of figured out, okay, we've got 85 feet of limestone and, and we've got 640 acres just on this one section. And that doesn't include the other sections that are around us, but just on section 33 that we have, we figured that the life of this pit for the volume of, of our sales, which we're selling somewhere between probably five to 700 tons, 700,000 tons a year is what we're at. So we figured there was a, the life was about 400 years. What we need in equipment here is just something that's efficient and something that is reliable. A crusher environment is just harsh for, for a lot of reasons. Uh, one is the dust. Uh, dust is hard on engines. Dust is hard on, on bearings, whether it be on the crusher itself or on the machines. It eats things. It, it tears things up. Um, we're at a high altitude. Uh, we're almost 7,500 feet here, uh, which there's not a lot of pits, especially in New Mexico, that are, are at this altitude working. And uh, once you get up to the top of the pits, you'll see it's, it's, it's steep. Uh, as well kept as we keep our roads, it's, it's steep up, it's steep down. We have one grade at the very top where you see the trucks. That's a 21% grade. So we have to have something that can withstand all this. The reliability, I mean, we've got equipment here that has just got you know, almost 40,000 hours on it and we're still running. Primarily what our 350 is, is we have actually chains on those, on those tires and it has teeth on it and we use it for loading the articulating end dumps and they bring the material down and they feed it into our universal impact crusher that's down in the hole. When we first were in the crushing business, we fed our, our crusher with loaders. That's all we used. And then because of the size of this operation and things got spread out, it didn't make sense to try to move the crusher to the material or try, you know, or, or, or haul it with loaders. So that's when we bought that first uh, 35 uh, end up, and then we've been using it, at, you know, we've been using articulating end ups. I think we run five or six of them out here now, is what we have for articulating end ups. You know, way, way we've always looked at it, anybody can sell iron, it's, it's the service side of it. You know, if, if you don't have somebody that can service and take care of you when you need it, because when you break down, you, it's always at the worst time and you need it up as quick as you can. And I've had other dealers tell me that it'll be two weeks before they can get to me. And I, you know, Golden Equipment, you know, Flavio, they've been real good about taking care of us. They've always come out when we needed it and, and, and uh, you know, and they understand what our needs are. When we did the research on the 350, um, not only was, was a, you, we had a, a screaming deal that you guys had made us on the price on that, on that 350, but we were looking at that we were saving almost $1,000 a month just on fuel. That that fuel savings on that loader was gonna, was, uh, you know, was con you know we, were, we were saving 1,000 and then with, because that 330 was as, load, as old as it was, we were spending another, we were, it was starting to, it, it just, they get old. They, so by getting a new piece of equipment, it's actually making its own payments because of, we're not having to spend it on, we don't have any downtime, and so it's a huge savings on our part.